Thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplant and my hoys. In today's video, it is something that I have been longing for in the past six to seven months. It is my wish list and uncommon hoyas that I really, really want to obtain. I have accumulated a very long list since winter last year, but because of the extreme weather and where I live, it is not recommended from the collector to ship cuttings. So after seven months of a long wait, I have accumulated a very long list that I managed to finally place my order from two collectors in Sweden. So as you can see in my thumbnail, I have two big boxes. Um, I'm going to show you what I have got and I will take you through the close up of the cuttings I have. Um, if you are interested in this type of content, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. So next time when I have new Hoyas or any Hoya tips or any recommendation that I have on Hoyas, then you won't miss out. Let's bring on to the table and then I can show you a close up of all of the Hoyas that I have obtained. The first one here is Hoya Microphyla. This is a Hoya that I find it's really, really small. If you looked into my wishlist Hoya list, I have a Solani Flora um, in my wishlist. I feel like this one could actually be that, um, just that the name is different. Let me know in the comment box down below if you know more about this Hoya, because if you see that, this Hoya is almost smaller than my nail. It's like half my nail size. This one is, as I mentioned, microphyla. Um, I am very excited to bring this on. Well, I hope that this one will manage to live. Um, it's a really, really thin stem. So I'm going to put it in the water right away. Then the second one here is one of my wishlist Hoya. This is Hoya NS. 12323. It's also called Micro Dorf. Um, I am really surprised with the size of the leaves. I thought it's probably going to be maybe two times the size, but you can see that this is very similar to the size as the Micro Phyla. And to me, I find it super cute. But as I said, uh, just like Micro Phyla, these ones are very, very thin. The stems are crazy thin and also the leaves are really thin. Hopefully um, it could pick up the pattern or the veins on the small leaves. So yeah, this one looks very fragile. Um, again, I'll put this one in water right away to rehydrate it. Next one here is Hoya pandurata. I didn't expect this one to be this large uh, compared to the micro uh, drof. I thought that was bigger, but this one, I thought it's half the size. But as you can see, this is having a dark green color and the stems are pretty thick as well. This one here, it's a very interesting leaf shape. I kind of associated this um, with Burmanica, because I thought it looks similar, but actually it's quite different um, from Burmanica. Yes, this one is Hoya Pandurata. Then here is Hoya Persiflora. It's a very large cutting. Thank you so much for the seller. It's super kind. And this one just have a little bit of broken leaf but it's completely understandable because it's a lot of Hoyas that I got. So I totally understand that. Um, but you can see here, the Parsiflora is having very thin leaf nature. And it also is quite compact when it comes to the growth pattern. I really like this one because it has um, thin but elongated leaf shape. And also I believe it will grow quite bushy. It gives me a feeling of this one to be associated with Retusa, even though Retusa it's more pointy leaf. But this one, as you can see, it's also pointy leaf, but maybe wider on the leaf shape. The next one here is Hoya Minutiflora. This one, I noticed it from Miro 
from Bessie Plant. I really like how he explained this um, particular plant. It is because of the tiniest flower. And oh, the seller is super kind. She also included an existing peduncle for me. That's how I can actually see how it looks like for the peduncle. It is just like a hair thread super super thin and i can imagine how small the buds could be on the tip and the leaf shape i could say it looks a little bit like croniana but obviously this one is more pointy and rounded and it is also really long cutting this is just incredible i really really appreciate how kind the seller is and also how great the quality is this one here is Hoya Microstemma. Here, I also noted this one from Miro, from Bessie Plant. Um, thank you so much for his information about different types of plants. I really like this one because I have seen his video talking about the flower smells like vanilla. And not just about the flower, but the shape of the leaf is just so cute. It is very um, pointy and a little bit elongated. Um, but also the stem it's a bit thin as well so i'm just going to directly dip it into water but as you can see there are some nice vein in the leaf shape this one here is hoya nihusie i have mentioned about this one in my wish list hoya and i'm so glad i managed to get a cutting of it this one is having a large flat flower from the leaf itself, it looks a little bit dehydrated, um, so hopefully it will be plumped up after I placed it in water. But as you can see, the leaf itself is very small, and again, the seller is very, very kind. She also includes an old peduncle for me, and I think there is a new tiny one growing over here. I am very excited to show you more of this Hoya, and hopefully one day I will have a flower that I can show you as well. Hoya ni husie. This one here is Hoya lacunosa royal flush. I saw this one mostly on YouTube actually when people mention about they have different subspecies of lacunosa and then I saw this one have really nice splashes and I am very happy to try this one on even though I have um, lacunosa but the one that I have is more plain green color but under the light you can see this has so much flush um, so let's uh, hope that it will perk up a little bit it's a little bit thin at the moment um, okay straight to the water please <laughs> Then we move on to Hoya Murumi Cooper. Uh, this has purple flower. I saw this one in uh, Asian Plant Export before, but then they actually don't have it in stock. And I found this one to be kind of uh, difficult to obtain, even though it seems like some big box store could carry them. But I saw this one um, having an offer, so I'm very excited to bring it on. As you can see, the leaf is pretty rounded and relatively small. That's the reason why I like uh, it. And particularly the flower is very special. Um, it has that kind of pink purple color. Um, and I would hope uh, one day I get this one um, flower. So let's see. But as of now, I think the leaf shape is very cute. We move on to another splashy Hoya. This one is Hoya SPETS10. I think this Hoya is very splashy when it comes to the combination between dark green and silver. It's not the same as Croniana Super Eskimo because the leaf shape is more like a rounded leaf shape. I would say it looks a little bit like GPS 735, but the splashes on the leaf is very pretty. If you like silver color, I think you will like this one. Um, hopefully um, I managed to grow this one a little bit bigger, but it is a really healthy cutting. Um, all of the leaves are very firm.
This one here is Hoya Carry NS13064. This is a wish list plant of mine uh, for a bit of time, but because I can't really find a really good price, it's always really expensive. I didn't really purchase it, but this time I managed to have a good prize from the seller and i'm so happy that i got this plant because this is the first time i see it in real life it has this sheen um on the leaf it's a bit shiny it's not furry but it's almost like an ethereum if you understand what i meant um it is very deep in the color it's deep green but at the same time it has that kind of shine on the leaf the stem itself is not really thick um, but it is a super healthy cutting we move on to hoya rei this hoya i found it uh, on hoya passion i saw the very deep shiny leaf texture and I really like it um, and then I saw that um, the seller uh, of mine also carry this one and that's why I tried on having this one but as you can see the leaf itself is very thick and also have a um, kind of shiny finishing obviously I have my light in front of me that's why I can show a more clear video uh, for you um, it also have a thick um, wooden stem it started a little bit of root uh, maybe um, so I believe this could be an easy um, plant to root this one here is a very famous one because it always got mixed up with Hoya Zangiai Hoya Zangiai People say that it is Hoya Bertoniae, and this one here is the true Hoya Sangii. Um, it is also named as Hoya Odente. Um, it has yellow flowers, and the reason why I really want to collect this one is because of the pointy leaf, but also it is quite thin at the same time, so hopefully um, it will grow in my care um, but again the seller has given me a lot of notes and I'm really thankful for all of this nice um, cuttings that um, she is providing me. Now this one here is Hoya Nuna Yellow Flower. I am again really really touched when the seller gave me this size of a uh, cutting and she also included a new peduncle that is opening up it does look quite healthy and the new growth point is still having that greenish color so hopefully i can um make this one survive but seriously she gave me i think just this cutting there are three peduncle and I am, I don't know how to say thank you for her because it's just super, super kind. And I'm really excited to have this flower and also grow. It looks a little bit like David Kumingii, but then in a um, smaller leaf shape and shorter leaf shape. So maybe it's the combination between David Kumingii and Hishkliana. But this one here is Hoya Nuna Yellow Flower. Next one here is Hoya Yuan Nan Ensis. It looks very similar to Hoya Li, um, but I would say maybe the leaf is slightly bigger, but it is very similar in the sense that it has this pointy dark green color and have a little bit of abs and it also quite elongated and fuzzy. Um, more on the back, um, but also a little bit on the top as well. And I think this one, as the name indicated, it is from Yunnan, um, part uh, of China. And hopefully I can have um, this growing just like my Hoya Li, uh, growing really prolifically. Um, let me know in a comment box down below if you think this one is Hoya Li China, um, or if you have uh, an example of Hoya Yunnan Ensis that you have, so then I can have a better idea of how different types of Hoya Li, Hoya Yunnan Ensis is like in other people's collection. This one here is a very, very large cutting could you guess what this one is 
This one is Hoya SPAFF Bertonier in a variegated. You can see that the variegation is uh, having light green color uh, in the middle and then it uh, faded out and having a darker edge. It also have a sun stress, I believe, if you see a hint of purple. This one is a very generous cutting. I am so happy um, that the seller has provided me such a large cutting with an existing peduncle. So potentially, um, I could have a flower on this one. I will let you know if I manage to do that. This one here is a gift from the seller. This is Hoya Parviflora N07154. I really, really like this Hoya cutting. And I am so thankful that she gave me this as a gift because she knows that I really like Hoya Parviflora. I also got one from her, which is a more pointy and smaller leaf shape. Um, but who won't want a new or another variety of Hoya Parviflora? And I think this one is a very healthy cutting again. It just has a lot of um, new leaf in the same growth point. So hopefully, oops, I will have this grow. This one is the Wishless Hoya that I have included in my Wishless Hoya list. This here, if you can guess, this one here is Hoya Solani Flora. The seller told me that this one is formally known as Hoya Solani Flora, but there's actually a bigger leaf version, which is the true Solani Flora that Natalie Simpson has found. But for me, I like small leaf Hoya, and the one that I really wanted is actually the small version. And now because it is no longer um, classified as Hoya Solani Flora, it is classified as Hoya SP. Um, but as I mentioned, this is actually the one that I wanted to look for. It's a very thin Hoya leaf, and also it has some sort of vein, as you can see there. Um, very thin, pretty compact, and extremely thin stem. Well, hopefully I need to just put it in the water as soon as possible. This one here is the colorful one that I have obtained as well, um, apart from the inner variegated um, SPAF Afritonia. This one here is the inner variegated version of Hoya Bella. If you can see in the video I'm showing you right now, the reason why I want to have another species of Hoya Bella is because it has a very beautiful combination between the flower and the leaves. This one gives me something more, not just having the flower and green leaves, but the combination of the variegation is super beautiful. I didn't expect this one, but until now, uh, when I see the real actual leaf, it has a lot of variegation in the inner part and just a little tiny bit of darker green. And in combination with the pointy leaf, it's I mean, you can't really ask for more for a plant, I would say. So I am excited to have this one in my um, collection. I hope um, it will grow as fast and as healthy as the one that I have. We move on to this one, Hoya VL9. If you remember what I had before, I had Hoya GPS7240. It looks extremely similar, I would say. Um, however, I found the growth pattern of Hoya VL9 in accordance to the picture I saw uh, on YouTube or on uh, Instagram. It actually have a more separated um, growth pattern, which I meant is that the node is quite separated between leaves. Um, I can show you in another video clip of my Hoya GPS7240. It is really compact. The node uh, in between is very short, um, but I think the growth pattern of this one will look really nice as a trailing plant. That's why I also want to obtain Hoya VL9. Let me know in the comment box below if you have both um, VL9 and GPS7240 that you also find the similar growth pattern as I mentioned. If not, please correct me. Very nice leave. Also with some splash and a little bit of fuzz. Last one here. This one is a very, 
rare one i would say and relatively expensive that's why it took me some time to purchase this one could you guess the name of this one this one is Hoya MEC Cubilis. Um, the reason why I really like it is because of the flower. It looks like a bell shape, but with very thin corolla. And corolla and corona together, it is a yellow color. The combination itself may not be very obvious when it comes to the comparison of the two colors. But because of the bell shape and thin curly corolla, it just looks very special in the Hoya flower world. So I would like to um, hopefully try to flower it, um, but it is really surprising that the leaf is equally interesting. If you can see that the leaf size is probably the biggest um, of the entire order that I have from the two seller. This one is also having some splashiness in the dark leaf. So it's a very beautiful color, I would say in the leaf as well. Well, one day, if I flower it, I will make a video of it. But um, I'm very, very happy of owning this Hoya. Thank you very much to stay until now. I hope this video showed you some new Hoyas that you haven't seen before, and then it strikes your interest to have one of them. If you have any questions in regards to any of the cat tips, I can probably tell you in three to four months time. Um, but if you have any comments and then you want to let me know some of your cat tips of any of these Hoyas, also leave your comments down below and then we can discuss over there. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.